Hey guys. Um, I'm just making a quick video. Something I need to talk about that I want to go ahead and put out there. I had a lot of recent experiences that I'm not really <laughs> keen to. But something was brought to my attention recently that I realized I needed to, at the very least, share with others on how to do. Because for whatever reason, there are people out there that believe that there are some that are special and some that are not. And the reality is far from the truth. Okay. So, if you have a hard time, you struggle with learning things, you struggle with studying, you struggle with X, Y, and Z when it comes down to anything that deals with learning. If you want to overcome that, you gotta put in the work. You know, very recently I had a guy basically try to explain to me that I basically I have ADHD. I'm like, no, I don't. I definitely do not have ADHD. It's like ADHD is is something entirely different from what I have. My brain, yes, is always active, and yes, I'm always overthinking things. Uh, I've learned to live with it and I don't want to say control it but understand how to come at it from different angles what's not understood is why I had to think like that well it's very simple it goes back to the very reason how easy it is to actually become an intelligent person okay I say easy, but it, it, it's a lot of work. First off, get rid of anything, anything that is causing you to be numb or dumb, period. And all that also includes the notion of I want to be like everybody else because you're not, the moment you make this decision, you're not going to be like anyone else. You're going to be different. And if you can't handle being different, then this journey is not for you. There, there's no point in you trying to become intelligent. Because with wisdom comes more sadness and understanding that God and Jesus Christ are real. First and foremost. Now with that said, you want to get more intelligent, you got to get... Delete all the distractions out of your life. Those that you can delete. Start with minim minimizing what you think you need and only boiling it down to what you need. Start with that. Requires a lot of thought. Well... You're going to be in your head a lot. And you're not going to be in your head thinking about all the things you can and cannot do. You're going to be in your head thinking, if you, you can't focus on that. you got to teach yourself, and this requires a lot of work. you got to teach your mind and your heart how to think and how to feel properly without, you know, any personal BS in the way. That means that you're focused on what needs to be done. If you're working on your car... Instead of freaking out because it just broke down, you say, hey, how, instead of, how do I fix this? Maybe you don't know how to fix it. That's not the point. The point is, you're not looking at the issue. You're l trying to diagnose it. Whether you know how to or not does not matter. In that, in that point and portion, you start to think about different things you where you can look information you can read or something that'll help you to fix the situation you might not have the tools necessary you might not even have the knowledge necessary but you at least understand that you can find the information and gather it and so on and so forth my point is this has to be your everyday life with every situation everything even your own emotional stuff that you don't address, you're going to have to address it from different angles. Well, why did I feel this way? Why did I do this? It's always about asking why and learning to understand the answer to that why. And also seeing how many different answers can come from a single question. Meaning not every answer is the perfect answer. That requires a lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of work. When you go to school, you got to learn something new. 
saying screw everything that I, I, that I want to deal with and focusing only on what you need to, to do. It's hard to do at first. It's going to take time. But over time, what will happen is your mind will open up like that of a child. Your heart will open up like that of a child. And you'll start absorbing information like a sponge if you keep at it. In fact, you'll get to a point where you can turn it on and turn it off when you need to. So that way you can actually relax when you need to turn it on. It's not like me where I'm sitting here. I'm like, you know, I got a day, a free day. And I'm sitting here wondering, what do I do? I'm not used to this because it's been a stressful month and a half. It's the best way to put it. Um, I haven't really caught a break. And now that I have one, I'm like, well, I'm so used to working, I don't know what to do now, you know? And this always happens. Because I have to literally wind myself down from survival mode of moving to the next thing and doing the next thing and trying not to stress out and trying not to react to how people treat me. Despite what they claim to be treating me as, you know? So, with that said, a lot of work means also you're studious. You learn with your eyes, you learn with your ears, you learn with your sense, your taste, your smell, your imagination teaches you. Visualization, imagining things in front of you. You know, when a kid imagine, the reason why a kid's imagine, why a kid has such a huge sponge is their imagination is wild. They'll take anything they learn and try to envision things. You know what I mean? That's how things happen. Well, if you become an adult and you do the same thing, you're gonna be able to have that childlike thinking. The difference is you gotta you gotta learn. You gotta put in the work. If you're not willing to put in the time or the effort, you're not gonna learn. You're gonna be you're gonna be what you wanna be, which is just like everyone else. The moment you try to to be intelligent, this whole IQ crap that people talk about. Listen, all it all the IQ thing is good at doing is measuring your lack of awareness. That is the honest to God truth. It is good at measuring your lack of awareness or your your lack of of uh, if a car is on, the key for you isn't even in the ignition yet. I don't even know if you've opened the door. That's what that's what IQ is. You sit in a car and at the very least you know that you have the key in the car. You're ready to turn on the engine. But if you're not even in the car yet, I mean, what's the point? You know what I mean? IQ does not measure intelligence like it claims to. It can, but it really depends. Because not every child learns the same. With that said, God bless each and every one of you. Adios.